okay, so I got Cordy app and it was working originally and then it just didn't work when I got my new computer and that was frustrating the heck out of me. And uh, some people were saying it was because my MIDI keyboard um, probably only has one out or something, some, something stupid like that. And that was the reason why it was only sending it to my DAW instead of also sending it. It's just so stupid. So um, who designs this stuff? Like, Jesus Christ. Anyway, so I had to get this thing called Loop MIDI um, and install it with my Cordy app. But the, 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 the CordyApp.com uh, doesn't explain it very well and nobody explains it for Cubase. So I freaking struggled with this stupid thing for hours. So uh, yeah, here's how I figured out how to do it. Okay, so first you got to get loop MIDI and then you click the plus button and it'll pop up. It'll say loop MIDI port. So that's good. You got that. And then um, the next thing you do, I think. So then you want to go in here and then you should say loop MIDI port, right? That's the one I'm talking about right there. And that's the in. And it also says loop MIDI port out. Okay. And... Uh, Disregard the stupid MIDI port one. It's because I made two of them because somebody suggested it. Didn't work. Just do one. So you do mid loop MIDI port. Um, and you make sure that the in is inactive. And you make sure the out is active. So this is fine. It says active and the in says inactive. Okay. Now, I, had, I couldn't just do it through here with the piano. I had to do it through this... Uh, making another um making another track so i had to make a midi track uh, there we go i click this one add or whatever and i made the out so the in is the eight keys and the out is the loop midi port thing that we set it up for and then the way that you get both of them is you got to select both of them Right, so you select both of them. Now I have the sound and it's sending it to, it's sending it to the uh, Cordy. So there you go, figured it out for Cubase. Um, yeah, I hope that helps you and you figure it out super quick and don't get as frustrated and annoyed as I did. Peace.